Hello everybody, my name is Ardendris, and welcome back to Ezrabeth, a holiday mind fudge. So, this is episode 3, and likely our last episode of this. Because I have a feeling, like, uh, from what I understand this game, this game, like from their description, is quite a bit shorter than any, uh, than the, the, and then a pit stop in purgatory, ugh. Which is apparently difficult right now. And we're probably nearing the end of the story. The last time we got into like the, the real thick of it, <laughs> it ended up being like an hour-long episode, and I thought and I thought this was just going to be two parts, but apparently it's three. So we've learned, and I guess we can uh, just like go into the game as I go through this a little bit. Uh, I already mentioned how much I love the music that they make for these games. Like, they do such a good- they do such good work with this. But anyways, characters-wise, we filled out all of these. I mean, I've read through all this before, I'm not gonna read through it again, because there's a lot of information here. But we view- we found out quite a bit about all of our family members. I like this little touch here. Using my touch on him revealed an intense darkness, which I doubt- which I strongly doubt is a good sign for what his future holds. Little bit of a hint at Volumnius there, huh? But anyways, we've also filled out all of our clues. And these have actually changed as we progressed to the story. They started off as... I think we just started as a painting entitled Cruel World, and then this changed, and then it added that. And this changed. It was originally just this, but then we talked with Full, and it changed to this. So we've, uh... Got some clues. We've actually filled out all the clues. They're just changing as we find more stuff. But we are nearing completion. And we have learned. And uh, some of this is speculation, but I have a feeling it's pretty on point to where the story is going. That we're in some we're obviously in some sort of time loop. We saw an image of a person who looked a lot like Rem, the Deity from the epilogue of the Pit Stop in Purgatory. And things are not actually how they would be. Things are kind of like how Ezra Vest would want them to be. Like her sister was like completely 180 from her normal uh, personality and was like kicking all the abuse that uh, Ezra Vest was throwing at her. So things aren't exactly how they were in real life, apparently. We just haven't gotten the full story behind why, or full, full spe specifics and making sure exactly if our theories are correct. I suspect they are. But anyways, I think what we all really have now is finishing up with Ishobello. We already did Begonia and Volumnius last time, so this time we're going to finish up with Ishobello here. Then we're going to go through Carta Chartas a little bit. Then we'll probably get some ending bits before going to final thoughts on the game. If I have... If I... Have judged this game correctly. So... I think we're just going to jump into Use Psychic Touch. We already went through asking him questions. We just haven't done these two yet. So let's use Psychic Touch on Ishobello. I can use my abilities to see if there's something hidden behind those less than stellar eyes. Maybe a secret, maybe a hidden intent, or something else entirely. I'm going to touch you now, Ishobello. You are going to use that, I take it. Correct. I understand. Good. Close your eyes and count to ten in any given language or alphabet. I shall do it in early Cyrillic. You don't have to announce your choice. Interesting choice, though. Uh. Now hold still. Let's see. Let's see things for what they really are. I sense anxiety, pride, and a major inferiority complex. Wonder why? 
Absolutely no surprises there. We're done. Already? Yes. I do pride myself on my efficiency. I know. Character profile updated. It's your bella. Uh... We were with that. Using my, t using my touch on him revealed that he's a neurotic mess. No surprises to speak of, in other words. Ah, uh, yes, I wonder why. <laughs> I continue to dislike how Ezra Beth treats everyone. Anyways. Ask about clues. I need you put I need you to put your intellect to use, limited as it may be. Uh Of course, Mama. Ask about the date. My calendar is behaving quite strangely. Oh um Yes, uh have you tried keeping it up to date? What use is keeping track of time if you don't well track it? Yes, yes, I know it isn't August. That's not the problem, though. Honestly, Mama, if you are so intent on lagging behind, you should at least cross days off within the same month. It's entirely unchanged from our last visit, after all. Why, you... Uh, last visit? And when was that, exactly? A week ago, like they're gonna say this paint... This Portrait was taken. Hmm. Um. Oh, right. One year ago, the previous holiday season. Not this picture that, that, that was told was a week ago? Okay. Never mind, I guess I was wrong on that one. I guess that would have been since they were here. Okay. We really should visit more often. You really should not. But more importantly, I didn't have a calendar last year. You're not making any sense right now, Ishobello. Why, that's... I'm sure you're mistaken. You've always had a calendar, Mama. Losing some memories here and there is nothing to be ashamed of in your old age. This incessant son of mine. Hmm? Could he be right about this? Did I have a calendar last year or not? I'm certain I didn't. But at this point, can my memories truly be trusted? Who updated the date? Isobello claims that my calendar is unchanged from last time, which he says was last year. But I'm certain I didn't have a calendar back then. Okay, let's ask about a warning. Have you seen any woman dressed in white lately? Outside of doctors at work, I mean. What a strange and random question, Mama. May I inquire as to why you would want to know that? You may not. That's terribly suspicious. You're losing him! Rude word to herself, Rebeth. Fine, I'll tell you. I was hoping to buy something for your wife, and I think white may be a good colour for her. So you were looking for inspiration? Yes. That's... wonderful. Mama, it fills my soul with such joy that you've decided to get closer to your family. I almost feel bad lying about this. However, I cannot aid you in this matter. I rarely even notice the clothes that people wear, so I'm not the right person to ask. However, the sentiment is greatly appreciated. Alright then. What a waste of a good lie. Ask about Cruel World? What did you say the na that the name of this painting was again? Cruel World, of course. I'm still ashamed that I got it wrong earlier, not once, but twice. Unforgivable, really. Mm-hmm, totally. Almost. There's still something strange about this. I can feel it. Okay, that's it on that for now. I'm assuming if I go... My apologies, Mama, I know nothing more about this. 
Okay, so if I say something again, they'll just get like a little... No, I don't know. Okay. That's the first time I tried clicking on something a second time. Why could I try it now? But anyway, who's... Gift of Whiskey? Which year was better for Eau de Sever Dalier? 1986 or 1987? Is this a serious question, Mama? It's obviously 1986. It would take a special kind of uncultured individual to not know that. Indeed. Would you say that buying the wrong bottle is an easy mistake to make? Hardly. Each year's edition is uniquely labelled, coloured and shaped in such a way that only a blind person, or a truly ignorant one, would, would confuse the 1986 bottle with its 1987 counterpart. But then again, you already know all this, don't you? Yes, I do. Just as I thought. Hmm. Family photo? Where was this po photo taken? In Casa Reggio Manor, just last week. So I went all the way to your home just a few days ago. Yes. We were all quite surprised that you were willing to make the journey. It doesn't sound like me at all. I agree, Mama. The mystery of the photo seems no closer to being solved. But it did update. I had a feeling it probably would. That seemed like pretty important information to add in. This, the photo was taken in Casa Leche Manor, where Ishobello lives with his wife and son. Why would I ever bother to go all the way there? Ask about Sink Foil. Foil. I, st I, I still want to... I want to pronounce it like... and uh, Try and do some sort of French pronunciation for it. Basically because of this part, but I'm not sure how the end of it would be pronounced with in, with in the uh, with like more of a French accent. But calling it sink foil is is also just as wrong. It feels like. <laughs> so honestly, I don't know how to deal with that one. Are you aware the sink foils have many special properties? Whatever. <laughs> I believe I've heard about some of them, yes. From whom? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, um, I believe Aunt Begonia talked to me about them some time ago. I really don't remember clearly. Why would she talk to you about flowers? I have no idea, Mama. Darn that, darn that begonia. And that's that. Actually, there was something else. Mama? Stop interacting. That's enough of that. You may resume doing nothing. Very well, Mama. And I believe that's everything. We looked through all this stuff earlier. We've talked to Vol last time. Even, the rugs don't have an entry, but apparently when Ezra baptized, the rugs do go to Ishobello. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was an interaction. Anyways, with that, I think we're done with these two. <laughs> Is it time to ask the morons to leave the premises? Throw out the trash. Yay. <laughs> Now then, kindly leave and don't come back. Mama? I mean, um, don't come back until next time you're back. Uh, or something. <laughs> Great comeback, yeah. Ah, uh, there, what is grandmother saying? She's trying to tell us to leave. But she's being weird. It's the best she can do, Vol. Are you aware that I can still hear you, you utter fools? Oh, um, right, that's... Bye. Goodbye, fool. Goodbye, Ishobello. With that done, next should be...
my dear husband. <laughs> I, would, I would like to know, right now, from our limited interactions with Charta so far, I think I like him. And I like Vol. He's just like an inquisitive little kid who likes uh, studying and being super smart and learning about things. <laughs> and very and very cute and charming. I don't like Begonia. I don't like Azerbeth. And I'm and I'm not a huge fan of Ishobello. But his shortcomings are mostly because of Azerbeth. And I should note, I don't like these characters not because they're bad characters. They're very well-written, unlikable characters, though. Like, I, they've done, like, an amazing job, in my opinion, at least. I like writing characters that you cannot like, but they're written as good characters. Which is... is difficult, but when done right is, like, amazing storytelling, and I think they've done it perfectly, more or less. I... They're so good. Why are they so good? The music, the art... I wasn't gonna get into any of this stuff until, like, we're done with it, but, like, why are they so good at all of it? And this was... This game was made in a month. This was made in a month. My dear husband... Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. But... More on that... At the end. My dear husband. The door? I'll always make time for him, at least a little. Open the door. Good day, my love. Charter. I keep forgetting how handsome he is. Darn it, I feel like a schoolgirl all over again when he looks at me like that. Get your stuff together, you old hag. You have a mis mystery to solve. You don't have the time to enjoy things. I think you have literally all the time in the world. It's, it's a time loop. You literally have all the time in the world. <laughs> hmm. That's... That might actually be the lesson that Rem's trying to teach her. Yeah... Theory time! Theory time real quick. Azerbeth's a bad person, but she's a bad person because of her past. Rem was trying to give Vol the best day possible in his afterlife. Is she trying to do the same for Azerbeth and give her a good day instead? And try to make her see that she can be a better person and she can enjoy time with her family? Is that Rem's goal here? Anyways, you don't have the time to enjoy things. I already read that one. Nor do you deserve to. Ezra, you see, Ezra, you seem distracted. Oh, it's um, it's nothing. I've just missed. You've missed. Yes, missed out. Missed out on buying food. That's what I meant to say, and that's why there's no food here. Phew. Real smooth. Oh, please, have a seat by the table. I'll pour us something to drink. That sounds lovely. I don't know what voice to give him. I, I, I think it's changed like six times. His voice has changed not only every time he pops up, but every time he speaks. And may I say, you have a vibrant energy about you today. It is quite endearing. D thank <laughs> Thank you. Now sit down. Oh, I shall, believe me. I walked all the way here, so my legs are quite sore. Even hearing about his sore legs is somehow interesting. He really is my weakness. Hmm. I need to find out if he knows anything. But before then, we have things to look around to see if anything has changed. Rugs. We've already read that one. 
Um, yeah, we can't look at the outdated calendar. The date has been reset. No new information. That's the wreath. Oh, this one does get an The wreath seems very unlike you, my love. It does. So why not take it down now, then? Well, maybe it's me trying to be festive. Fighting my inner demons and all of that. Why fight when you can embrace? Are you saying I should be thankful for my issues? I'm saying I'm saying that maybe not all of your perceived demons are things you need to change. Some of them are just you. That's a nice sentiment, Charter. But I don't know. Let's just say I'm too lazy to take it down. Let's do that then. Your home, your rules, my love. Okay, I'm, I think I'm fairly certain I like him as a character. He really is just trying to do his best to be kind and understanding towards the woman he loves. <laughs> Note, it's just my shopping list. So when he gets... That's exactly the same. Dollar's fan. Oh, we got some. Does this old thing still come in handy when the sun arrives? I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to use it for that. It's mostly just, well, lies around. It's quite easy on the eyes. I don't blame you for allowing it to simply spruce up the place. I've never heard you use the word spruce before. <laughs> Our grandson tells me that I sometimes sound like an old tree when I talk. His words, not mine. In the interest of staying hip, as it were, I decided to add some new words to my vocabulary. I see. And spruce is among the new words because of the wordplay, I assume. Hmm. Old tree. Tree. Spruce. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you believe I didn't realize that until just now? <laughs> oh my, that is rich. Darn, I can't believe I thought of a pun before you did. <laughs> you must be getting old. Quite. <laughs> but darn, I don't like it when you use filthy words, my love. You are above that. Oh, right, sorry. Mm. Darn, 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 darn. Ezra. <laughs> Just getting it out of my system. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay. Lark's purr. Uh, before you read that. Close. Read that. Don't want to use the door. That's just going to make him leave. So that leaves. To s Think for you. The drawers. The family photograph. Winter Wonderland. Yes, this guy's got something. I can't help but notice the fact that you keep staring out to the window. Are you looking for something? Oh no, I... It's stupid, but I thought I saw someone out there the other night. Is that so? An intruder, perhaps? <laughs> Should I call the police? No, nothing like that. Just... Don't worry about it. It's probably just my mind doing what it does best. Acting up, seeing ghosts... Wouldn't be the first time, right? Ezra. It's a non-issue, really. Let's just move past it. Very well. But if you change your mind... I know, Charter. I know. Okay, so that's... Drawers. Nothing of notes. Landscape painting. Uh, yep, that's the same. I'm assuming both of these are going to have things. Which one do we need to do first? The flowers, or which we're probably going to talk about how it was actually Begonia's idea, or the family photograph. Let's start with the, f the flowers. A present for my loving husband. Uh, I've already done that. 
Really? Okay, then. Turn the photograph. A photograph of the whole Casalecce family together. Come to think of it, I can't remember when and where this was taken. Strange. Wait, no, I've already read that one. That didn't get in? Okay, then. So I think that just leaves Charter. Charter, let's talk for a while. Nothing would please me more, my love. Talk about something. There were some things I wanted to bring up with you. Oh, prepare the topics of discussion. I'm quite enjoying this already. About our family, about you and Begonia, about the way I treat others, about our marriage, about our isol about my isolation. Okay, let's start with the family. Do you ever regret do you ever regret marrying away into this terrible family? Terrible hardly. Being a Casaleche has been the highlight of my life. A sad excuse for a life then. Hmm. Ezra, I believe that life, at least to a large degree, is what you make of it. The things you experienced in your childhood and early adulthood were regrettable, to say the least. But now we're here, the two of us, and we have this strange but loving family surrounding us. You are the perfect man, Charter. But when it comes to this, we will never see eye to eye. You are the most important person in the world to me. However, the rest of them... They can burn for all I care. <laughs> After all, it's their fault I can't be around pe people for longer periods of time. Not even you, as sublime as you are to me. The feelings are too strong, and the shaking, and the sweating, and the... You needn't explain, my love. Your feelings for your family are understandably complex, and no one, least of all me, would ever dream of holding that against you. But sometimes the only way forward is to let things go. I've heard that a million times. I know. And if you choose not to listen, that is your prerogative. My feelings for you wouldn't want to change. Ever. It is merely a device from a husband to his wife. Right. I appreciate it. That is good to hear. About you and Begonia. When did you realize that you wanted me and not my sister? This again, my love. I find myself needing to hear some reassuring words. I'm having a hard time with myself right now, and when talking to her, I can't shake the feeling that the two of you have so much more in common than you and I. So, if you don't mind... Very well. Your sister is a lovely woman. Not off to a great start. Now, now, be patient. She is a lovely woman, but... Yes. She isn't you. That's it. Yes. What's m what more needs to be said? Maybe some details? How about this detail? I love you. Fine. <laughs> okay, I, I definitely like Charta. For reasons that maybe he doesn't even understand. He, he loves Ezrabeth, and he is willing to put with up to a lot to make sure that she is happy. About the way I treat others. I know that the way I treat others is quite... Bad. <laughs> hmm. I thought you didn't like filthy words. <laughs> it was meant to emulate you, my love. And yes, it's true, your demeanor is, well, it is what it is, I suppose. Are you ashamed of me? 
There were times when I wish you'd be kinder to those who show kindness to you. But at the same time, no one understands you like I do. I've been by your side all this time, and I've seen every part of you. As such, I know that there's much good in your heart. However, deep one must sometimes delve to find it. Right. You are the only person that's easy for me to be nice to. Everyone else just reminds me of things. Bad things. Begonia I can understand, but this contempt for our son and grandson, it's a fair bit harder for me to grasp. Same! I don't fully understand it myself. But the way I feel about them is... Hmm. It's like there's nothing there. Like they aren't ours. Mine. I see. I know that's a horrible thing to say, or to think or say, but that's how I feel. Did she feel that way about her son before she gave birth, or just after she gave birth? Because it might actually be like pretty severe postpartum depression that just she never dealt with. Or is that just the way she feels? That's a theory as to how, the, how she managed to get there, but not necessary. Not necessarily like the most plausible one, but I feel like it kind of works. Although I don't actually know a lot about postpartum depression. I just know it affects a lot of women, <laughs> a lot of people with kids, and uh, a, a lot of people who give birth, <laughs> Ugh. and uh, it can get pretty severe, <laughs> from what I understand. Perhaps we should steal, steal this di dialogue elsewhere. That's probably for the best, yes. About our marriage. It pains me that I can't remember our wedding. Then I shall recall it for you, my love. It was a grand ceremony with a large number of attendees, much to your dismay, I should add. That sounds about right. The Casaleche family was bigger then, and with my many relatives there, are, there as well, suffice to say it wasn't a cheap affair. Isho wasn't much older than Vol is now when he carried our rings up the aisle. He did that, did he? Yes. I wish you could remember it, Ezra. It was truly a day to remember, as they say. I suppose I'll have to settle for all the bad memories that my mind has chosen to keep in place of the good ones. Cheer up, my love. Smiles always suited you better. Then why did you marry a woman who almost never smiles? Because when a smile does eventually appear, it's always worth it. Darn it. I win again. So Isho is actually... Isho was born before they actually got married then? Okay. About my isolation. I know me isolating myself out here has been tough on you. I won't lie and pretend otherwise. I want you to know that I really tried. But it was just... just too much. And knowing what I know now, I am impressed that you stayed with us for as long as you did. We managed to send Isho off to medical school before you left, and so not having to raise him on my own was a huge relief. I can't take much credit for raising him regardless. I mean, I can rem barely remember his childhood except for some spare traumatic parts. Right. But you did your best, my love. And in the end, isn't that all we as humans can do? Perhaps so. He turned out well enough, didn't he? 
Yes. Yes, he did. If I had Charter around more, maybe I wouldn't be so angry all the time. But I just can't handle it. The way my body and mind shuts down when others get too close, or when I spend too much time in their vicinity. That's the curse I carry from my younger days. Great. Now my darn mind is spewing poetic garbage. Thanks a lot, husband. Go back? It seems I forgot what I was going to say. If it was important, it will come back to you eventually. I find that to be a reassuring mantra when I lose my train of thought. Use Psychic Touch, then we'll ask about the clues, and then we'll probably get on to the ending. Use Psychic Touch. I can use my abilities to see if there's something hidden behind that handsome exterior. Maybe a secret, maybe a hidden intent, or something else entirely. I'm going to touch you now, husband. <laughs> As we are read, I don't really believe an announcement for such a thing is really necessary. Oh, right. I meant... I know. I'm just lightening the mood a, bit, a bit. Do what you have to do. If you believe it's somehow helpful, then I shall oblige. Thank you for understanding. Let's see things for what they really are. Hmm? I sense... Love. Empathy. Loyalty. But what's this? An intense brightness blinding me with pure white. I've never seen that before. What could it mean? It, could, it, couldn't, it can't be anything bad, can it? No, there's simply no way. Did you find what you were looking for? I, um... I wasn't searching for anything in particular. You weren't. It's awfully cruel if so, seeing as the experience is hardly pleasant for the recipient. You're right. I'm sorry. No matter, it's over and done with now. Shall we get back to talking? Yes, let's do that. I'm sorry, Charter, for being such a nuisance. <laughs> And let's see how Charter is updated. Using my touch on him revealed a bright light. A phenomenon I haven't seen before when using my abilities. I'm not sure what it means, but I choose to believe that it's something good. Okay. That's the touch ability on everyone. And then... The only, uh, the only character sheet that hasn't been updated is Ezrabeth's. Can you use that beautiful mind of yours to help me th make th sense of a few things? Flatter a man like that and he won't do- and he won't- and he's want to do something you ask. I, of course, am no exception. Ask about the date, ask about a warning, cruel world, all of that again. Again, in order. Let's see what we get. Charter, would you say that I'm often imagining things? Hmm... Forgetting things, yes, but imagining them? Occasionally, perhaps. So if I were to tell you that I feel like this day keeps repeating itself, what would you say? I assume you aren't speaking metaphorically. No. Well, my love, in this world there are a few constants. And one of them is that no matter how much we may sometimes desire it, Time cannot be turned back. Therefore, it is simply impossible for a day to repeat itself. Which is why, if you ask me, we must make the most of what we have here and now. Right. Not the answer you were hoping for, I take it. Well, yes and no, I suppose. I see. Ask about a warning. Have you seen someone dressed in white recently? Hmm? Oh, that's... N no. 
I have not. You seem very sure. Ah, yes, there, there wasn't much thinking needed. White is the color that sticks out to me. That being a fact, I was able to quickly surmise that I haven't seen a woman matching that description as of late. Mm hmm? I never said it was a woman. Mm hmm? I believe you did, my love. Hold on a second. Did she not? I thought she did. Uh... No, she did say someone dressed in white. Okay. I believe you did, my love. Did I? Now, was there something else? I was... Okay. I didn't even catch that, and I read it out loud. And it was a warning. Carter told me that he hasn't seen a woman in white. But how did he know that I was looking for a female? I'm certain that I didn't specify gender when asking him. Am I overthinking this? Okay, four more to go. Let's ask about the painting, A Cruel World. What are your thoughts on Cruel World, husband? Why, it's a spectacular painting, that's for sure. It's a proper shame that we will never find out who its mysterious painter truly was. So much potential lost. It is beautiful indeed. I'm glad that you agree, my love. Whiskey? Do you enjoy Eau uh, de Savadalia, Charta? Charta? You don't want to remember, my love? It's one of my favorites. We used to drink it together all the time when we were younger. Oh. I can't remember us sharing it, Shata. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Ezra. It's for the best, anyway. The 1986 vintage was discontinued long ago. And that was by far the most prolific year for it. Did they... I feel like they stopped making 1986 wines in 1986. Is that not how wines work? It, or is it just like the supply for them has gone so low that they can't sell them in normal stores anymore? Is that what they mean? I don't know. I I, I have zero idea about this one. <laughs> Discontinued. As an impossible to get today. Perhaps not impossible, but definitely improbable. I see. Charter told me that the 1986 vintage was discontinued, and as such would be very hard to find now. Okay. Ask about family photo. I look so happy in that family photo. Is that a bad thing? It's an odd thing. Maybe it was a special day. Apparently not special enough for me to remember it. Ah. At least it came out looking quite good, did it not? Sometimes the reason why isn't as important as enjoying the results. More charter wisdom at play, I hear. <laughs> Always, my love. And finally, sunk foil. Ugh. Hold on, one second, one second. Okay, I literally just went up, uh, I just literally just went and found a pronunciation. And I found the English pronunciation for it is literally sink foil. And then the French pronunciation is sink foil, which makes sense, and I'm not entirely sure why I didn't think of it. Sink <laughs> foil. I think I actually pronounced it like that one of the first times. So it was like, no, that can't be right. Apparently it was. Okay. <laughs> it appears that I should have thanked Begonia and not you for the sink for you. Oh, hmm. Found out about that, did you? 
Yes, she told me. My apologies, Ezra. I did not mean to fool you. However, her deal was so inspired. Her idea was so inspired. I truly wanted you to enjoy that gift at any cost. And if they were given to you by her, then... Yes, yes, I knew. I turned them into mulch. I appreciate the thought, I suppose. Just don't... <sighs> don't lie to me again. Hmm. I promise. And that's all of them. Thank you, Charter. You've been a huge help. The pleasure is all mine, my love. Pop interactor. Well, I'm all out of words. Oh, now that's a dreadful thing to consider. I believe that your words are but temporarily resting, so as to return later. Beautiful, but also pure nonsense. Poetry, my love. Poetry. <laughs> okay, I, I, I definitely like Charter. I think... That's it, though. All these have been updated several times. Oh, we've uh, gone through the characters. I think we're good to end this day and probably get an ending, if I'm not mistaken. Get to an ending, because we've seen everything else. Let's go to the door. Is it time to bid my love adieu and, start and restart the time loop? Time to move on. Hmm. What is it, my love? You'll have to leave now, Charter. I see. And you're certain that's what you want? <laughs> yes. Very well. Then, as always, I shall be but one phone call away. Thank you. Have a lovely night, Ezra. You too. I guess that's that. Everyone interrogated. But have I learned anything? Something that can help me out once time resets. If so, I should try talking to everyone again, annoying as that prospect is. Anything important that you may have missed can still be discovered in future loops. I guess it's time to sleep then. But, ugh. My head hurts again. Does that mean... Here we go. Figures. This horrible place. Why do I keep seeing it? So, Eddie, are you... Stop what you're doing, Ezra Beth. For your own good. Stop trying to find me. <laughs> you will only find misery. Stay right where you are. Stay happy. Happy? You can't seriously believe that I'm... This is the happiest you will ever be. Stop what you're doing. This is your final warning. You... You... Wait! Stop trying to find me. You're the lady in white. Hmm. Hey, witch! I'm talking to you. And you better not ignore. The residence. Uh, the residence of Ezrabeth Casareche. Heiress to a vast fortune, sister, wife, mother, grandmother, and recluse by choice. Is this... Do we really have to go through a full never loop? Here we go again. Oh, uh, leave the door alone for now. But we can't talk with anything until someone comes in. Okay. Sister dearest. Begonia. 
please, come in. Don't mind if I do. Anything change? Uh, I don't think anything's changed, has it? All of these are exactly the same. Okay. So maybe we have to go through another loop? In which case, I'm probably just going to skip through it, because we've already seen some oh, all of this. Unless there's something new in... in... Conversations. Sister dearest, Begonia. I have some things I'd like to run by you. And I shall try my best to be of use to you. I don't know anything more about that. I don't know anything more. Do you like this painting, sister? Okay, we there are new things in the dialogues now. I do. I should burn it then. That seems excessive. As far as I know, this is the only surviving painting drawn by the legendary RT. It would be a shame to get rid of it for such petty reasons. Petty to you, maybe. Do you know anything else about this RT? Not much. Curiously, no one has ever been... Uh, has no one ever seen them in the flesh. Leading many to believe that RT might not be a particular individual, but rather someone's pseudonym. Historically, with such occurrences, though, it was often possible to figure out whose alter ego it was, based on the technique on display in the artwork. With, well, with RT, however, it's very unique. Otherworldly, in a sense. Mm-hmm. Is there nothing else known about them? Well, there was one other account on the matter, but it's dubious at best. Go on. A young girl who claimed to be an apprentice of our team stated that she lost her sight when, se when seeing their clothes. Okay. Really ugly clothes then, I take it. Quite the contrary. According to this young girl, our was dressed in glowing white. Beautiful. Beyond the limits of human understanding. Mm-hmm. She got blinded by white clothes. And died shortly after that, too, if the story is to be believed. How convenient. Sounds like pure bull poop. <laughs> Made up by someone in desperate need of attention. That's what the general public thought as well, for obvious reasons. And so ends the mystery of our team, never to be solved. Great. Thanks for nothing, then. Hmm. <laughs> Clue updated Cruel World. Um, According to Begonia's story about RT's mystery apprentice, the elusive painter was dressed in glowing white. Mm-hmm. Beware, though, pure white. Okay, RT. Rem. It, it could be Rem, with like a T and a shot at the end. For some reason, maybe just because. But, hmm. That would make sense. Pure white. You know what? I feel like we're close to an end. We're just basically going to be going through these again. So this one might just be a long one, and we'll just get to an end in this episode. Gift of whiskey. You're quite the drunk, aren't you? I had a drinking problem, yes. Painful as it is to look back on. I bet. Hmm. So would you drink a 1987 vintage Eau de Sava de when you were at your worst? That toxic, that toxic rubbish. I must shamefully admit that I probably would. Yes. You were that far gone, dear sister. Yes. Does that amuse you? Greatly. Family photo. I don't know anything more about that. Think for you. I don't know anything more about that. Okay, so that's everything. Unless someone else updates another clue and then she updates it again. Because that's... I mean, 
Yeah, everything says I don't know anything more about that now. So, I guess we... I'm, I'm assuming a lot of this is still the same. I'm just ignoring a lot of this until it's something I know is new. Oh, um, I see. That's a strange way of putting it, but I understand. I should disturb you no further and thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to spend some time with you. Okay. Be all day, sister. Okay, so a lot of that's still the same. I'm assuming Vol and Ishobello might have something new then? Oh, look. Thank you. Ugh. That were new. That looked exact. That might have been the same, but it looked like it might have been new. I don't remember. Remember reading that. <laughs> I guess we'll go back through for Volumnius then. I'll ask about clues. I don't know anything else. 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 Never mind. Huh? That's it for now. I'm glad you weren't completely useless. Thank you. He kind of was on this. You're welcome. He, he, he kind of was completely useless on this go around. <laughs> I'm assuming nothing else has changed. We've already been through this with everyone. Ishobella, let's check with clues with you again. Ask about clues. Dates. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing more. Okay, so we've gotten everything from Ishobello and Volumnius. And... Yeah, this is exactly the same. Yeah, I, this is just a symptom of having a time loop game. Like, it's hard to avoid some overlaps if it's reliving the same day over again, trying to get new things. Having to reread some things is uh, kind of par for the course, kind of expected. And... I'll check again with Charda, but I'm assuming everything here is the same, too. Thumps. Thumps. Begonia told me an amusing story about R.T., the painter of Cruel World. Is that so? Apparently an apprentice of theirs was blinded when beholding their white dress. Oh yes, I believe I've heard this story. Her dress must have been immaculate indeed to cause such a reaction. Her dress? Hmm. Oh, um, I must have stumbled on my words. I suppose in my ancient mind only women can wear something that's referred to as a dress. Not very hip of me, I shamefully admit. Thus I must have subconsciously drawn the conclusion that RT is female. I see. Tata, are you hiding something from me? If so, what could it possibly be? Hmm? No, he would never! Not him! There's no way. True world updated. Tata referred to RT as female, even though their gender is famously unknown. Whiskey, family photo, and sink for you. Ah, this is new. Draw a conclusion. That wasn't on anything else. I think it's time. Here's the our actual ending we were looking for. Draw a conclusion. Charter. Yes, my love. You've been lying to me. I beg your pardon. Don't deny it. This is hard enough as... Uh, is be, be, being portrayed by you. I assure you, Ezra, I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't want to believe it at first. I told myself that you did indeed stumble on your words. But no. You made the same mistake twice, allu alluding to the lady in white. 
You knew that the warning note referred to a woman, even though it wasn't specified. And you knew that RT is female. Mere coincidence. Is an old man not allowed a slip of the tongue or two? You can't honestly imply that you've made enemies with the anonymous artist who drew your landscape painting. You are the smartest person I've ever known. In all our years together, I can barely count on one hand the amount of times you've stumbled or slipped up. And now you did so twice when talking about the same darn thing. So don't try to gas my gaslight me, you jerk. Jerk, is it? Tell me who the heck Artie is and what she has to do with all this. I bet you know that I'm stuck in a time loop too, don't you? Don't be crazy, Ezra. There's no such thing as time loops. You're clearly complicit. You... Don't... Don't sully your mouth further. I can say what the heck I want. You're supposed to always support me. I don't understand. <clears throat> Fine then. I concede. You're as clever as they come, my love. What? What's wrong with you? Why do you look like that? And why are we in this place? I can finally stop pretending now. <laughs> pretending? Yes. You don't have a husband, you fool. Who could ever love you? I had a feeling. I... I bet you're feeling real good about yourself now. You didn't listen. And as a result, well, congratulations. You're one step closer to ruining everything. Ruining what? You're the one that's... Ask your son about the whiskey. I'm sure he can provide some additional insight. If pursuing this further is truly what you desire, that is. But don't say I didn't warn you. Charter, please. This can't be happening. Farewell, my love. Charter! Charter!